Hello, everyone. This is Janet Namaste of Namaste with Love. And today I wanted to welcome you all and to introduce you to my mentor, to one of my best friends, to one of the most beautiful angels on earth that I've had the honor of collaborating previous joint ventures of family constellation events. And without further ado, um, I wanted to introduce Michelle Bleckner um, from Miami, Florida, and um, we wanted to invite you to an amazing event on April 15th at 12 p.m. Eastern time from 12 to 3, in which I will be leading a clearing and cleansing meditation that will raise your vibrations, that will allow you to get to the root cause of what, was has, what has been causing blockages or obstacles in your life. And then Michelle is going to facilitate um, an online constellation event. So, Michelle, will you please uh, explain to the audience of how this process actually works, a little bit about constellations, and how this online event is going to be working. Okay, so nice to be with you today, Janet. Always a pleasure. Beautiful Janet and uh, a beautiful community. I um, Yes, you say that I am in Miami. This is where I am. But of course, as you can hear, I'm from France. So this explains the accent. Um, family constellations and systemic work is something that came to me uh, very interestingly only 11 years ago. And it was a change of life for me. And it has been uh, for so many, so many people around. And um, I feel I feel proud to be among the pioneers um, in the uh, United States because even though it's a modality that has been introduced about 30 years ago by a German gentleman, his name was Bertelinger, he passed away a few months ago at the age of 90 some. But uh, um, interestingly enough, it's very well known in Europe and extremely well known in South America, Australia as well, not in the um, United States. So more and more we uh, can see that it's spreading, the word is spreading, and um, I'm glad that uh, in my community here in Florida, we really can be of service in spreading the word, especially since I create a movement called Mosaic, which is very important also because it kind of enlarge the theme. Um, family is a system. It's the first system we belong to. Actually, when we are born, you, you know, we get into a system uh, and uh, we never leave it because when we pass, we become an ancestor. So that is the permanent system that we all share. But in life, we belong to many systems. And it can be, uh, first of all, education, because when we are a child, we have to um, be raised. And then uh, academic, we go to school, and then work in play. A relationship, I mean, all kind of uh, tribes that we belong to along the, along the way. So I think it's very important because everything takes roots in the family, but then can be really um, seen and the importance of uh, the systemic intelligence, systemic understanding of it applies to many domains. And more than ever, unfortunately, we can see now with what we are living through, yes. which is a very challenging time. Um, for all of us, uh, so challenging that uh, it takes us out of our comfort zone. Certainly. Um, um, the thing that I'm going to do with you is fairly new to me because, uh, <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> online constellation is not something that I uh, do every day. Mm -hmm. I've done work online, but as you can see, um, because of my generation, I'm more comfortable on a one-on-one, -on, -one, on a group, um, you know, community um, type of uh, relationship. So um, I feel it's so important. And so, uh, especially at this time, 
to spread that I am willing to embark in this very uh, interesting adventure yes. of, you know, online and uh, Zoom and everything else, which is very unusual for me. What I can explain, it's a little bit of unexplainable. We say constellation, um, we don't know how it works, but it works. This is, uh, mm -hmm. um, it's not a joke. It's exactly what it is. It's the um, fact that we create a space and it can be a physical space or virtual space, space or really uh, a universal space. It's a container. It's really creating a sacred container to um, bring people together and under the lead of a facilitator, which I am, among other things, um, is going to navigate the inner world of their systems. Yes. So we look at the family, that is going to be uh, the, um, the task, is to uh, for the facilitator to bridge that person that is going to go, to go through a, a, a consolation or his consolation is to be comfortable in navigating sometimes very unknown territories. Why? Because we live with 20% of our conscious mind and 80% of our conscious mind. And uh, most of the things that we do and repeat because uh, systems are all about patterns, we do it unconsciously. And we do it in a way to survive. It's really one of the principles of the uh, system is that they do everything to survive. And what's happening is that we do cover up a lot of events that uh, you know, uh, have happened in our life or in the life of our ancestors, of course. Absolutely. And we don't even know about because we don't talk about, it's too painful, we don't talk mm -hmm. about, it's too uh, shameful, whatever it is, the death of a child or the, um, or the bankrupt of a grand uncle or the alcoholism of a grandfather or the um, depression of the... Uh, um, and Julie, whatever it is, we don't talk about. We kind of figure that if we don't talk about it, it doesn't exist. But unfortunately, when we bury things, uh, they come out um, with a vengeance. But it's not that, because the universe is the universe of love. And it's not to really hurt us that it's happening. It's happening to help us to heal and to avoid repeating unconsciously through loyalty, because this is what we are. We are loyal beings, um, things that are not serving. So what happened is that um, the second level of consciousness is such that at some generation, we automatically uncover it. So we cover up. And then we expose. We expose in, do, in having symptoms, getting sick, or um, not being able to um, have motivation, or um, uh, not being able to have a relationship that is lasting and happy. Whatever it is in the domain that are important in life, which are health, family, uh, relationship, uh, finances, you know, career, etc we cannot succeed. So in consolation, we have the ability to really bring to the surface all the things that have been buried. Through so some kind of, uh, I would not call it magic, but through so some kind of uh, um, uh, untold covenant between the universe and self. Correct. Through the space that we create, those things come up. And they come up, um, sometimes we already knew it, but they come up with a different meaning. Or sometimes we call, oh my God, we really realize things that we never thought about. Why? Because we use representative. 
that are going to be representing the person um, families, their father, their mother, their sister that they don't get along with, the grandmother that uh, um, lost her husband and uh, could not make it, uh, um, you know, could not make ends meet to raise her children. Uh, the, um, the person that, uh, you know, abandoned the child because, uh, you know, uh, they were too young to raise and uh, have been adopted. All mm -hmm. those kind of things that are trauma in a way and that we have to um, cope with in life, we are able to bring it to the surface. And when we do so, what's happening is that uh, there is an awareness, which is the first step to healing. And that is the same thing when we talk to be about business or organization or society. This is what we see right now. We have completely ignored whatever was going on on earth and now we're paying the price. Absolutely. So Absolutely. this is like the big, one certainly of the biggest uh, in my lifetime and uh, I'm certainly have a longer lifetime than most of the people that are going to listen to this uh, uh, little video um, nothing like this happened before we had a lot of trauma we had wars we had uh, you know uh, threats we um, we had polio as an epidemic but right. what's going on right now is no gender, no uh, religion, no uh, tribe, no country. Everyone is concerned. And it's what we call the evolutionary force, which is the other level of consciousness where everything is flow. It's a tsunami. Sometimes we don't need a tsunami. We have a hiccup, but we kind of uh, awake. But this is where brings the awakening. So... To just resume, this is what constellation is all about, is bringing to the surface the things that we need to know and be aware and resolved and heal so we can heal ourselves, heal our ancestors that are helping us doing that and heal our descendants for them to have a better life. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Thank you. That was beautiful, beautiful explanation. And um, it is true, like what, what Constellation has done for me personally, it really, um, it healed, I think, even about four generations back, you know, with um, my family being from Eastern Europe and through World War I, through World War II, through starvation, through anti-Semitism, through um, being ostracized, living in a ghetto. I mean, there's so many things that even came out in me personally on a physical level that had to be cleared out that I didn't experience in this lifetime. But we carry around because constellations um, it, it gen, energy goes through the DNA of our parents and our parents' parents. So um, thank you for leading me on my own healing journey as well. And what we're going to be doing on Wednesday, is it a Wednesday, um, April 15th? Let me take a look. Well, whatever day it is, on April 15th. Days right now. You know. Whatever, I exactly, exactly. Whatever day it is, April 15th. From 12 noon to East. make a joke to make a joke because we need a little bit of uh, yes. uh, you know I have of course uh, people uh, in my um, line from uh, all over the world and my friends from Europe are changing time on uh, this Sunday and they say who cares about changing time we don't even know what day it is you know <laughs> It's the truth. It is the truth. But this is all takes us back of being happy and being grateful in the moment, not yeah. focusing on what was in the past, but it is important to actually clear out the past because sometimes you think if you sweep things under the rug and you just ignore it, that it doesn't exist, but it does live inside of us. Even though it's very, very quiet, it lives inside of us and it blocks us from our true happiness, from the essence of our soul. And it blocks us for what we came here to do on this planet earth. And it isn't just to work and to die. It's to raise the vibration with our own unique gifts. So on April 15th at noon Eastern time, it's going to be from 12 to 3, I'm going to be leading you guys on a very 
um, gentle healing, graceful meditation that will get you to the root of the certain blockage. So it'll be like a tabula rosa where then Michelle will be able to facilitate, to be the facilitator of this constellation event. Now I need to preface it that not everybody that has signed up is going to quote unquote be chosen to be constellated in front of everyone. It really is the universe, the field, the universal field picks whoever's supposed to be there and know that who we're all here. We're all connected. There's no coincidence. We are completely all connected. So whoever was chosen is actually healing for your family, for your system, whether it be technology, business, relationship, your family. So it, we're all, it's this web of family, of DNA, of tribe coming together. And right now more than anything with the global consciousness of what we need to be doing is we need to bring peace and solace. So, um, We'll see you on April 15th. You can log on on my scheduler, which is on the bottom of this email. And um, please send this to your friends and family for those like-minded individuals. And um, for Michelle and I, we wish you peace. We wish you happiness. We wish you safety and good health. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah, thank you, Janet. Stay safe, okay? Thank and um, see you on the 15th. Bye. Yes. Bye. Namaste.